Hi, I am Smoking Moses and today I'm here to enjoy with you a great cigar. Questa Rey Centrofino Sun Grown number 60 from JC Newman. Stay with me. So, as you already know, today we smoke this Questa Rey, Centrofino Sun Grown number 60 from JC Newman. This is a cigar that really touched my heart. Since the beginning, since I started smoking years ago, I thought that this cigar was really amazing. And so this is the reason why today I'm here to enjoy it with you and to speak about the company and the legacy and the tradition that there is behind. Why I think that this cigar is really interesting? Because it comes from two, let's say, there are two big names involved in this smoke. Questa Rey from one side and J.C. Newman from the other. There are two very traditional, two names that are part of the history of this industry. First of all, Questa Rey, the, the, the brand was founded in 1885 <laughs> uh, from Peregrino Rey and uh, Angel La Madrid Cuesta. And uh, it is very traditional, a, a very famous, popular brand in the, uh, in the 19th century, in the, in the beginning of the of last century. It was really popular. It was one of the most famous, most uh, uh, smoked cigar of the world. It was the official cigar of the Spanish crown. It was a super famous company, Questa Rey. And they really were everywhere. They were famous. They were gadgets with the name on it. I saw them in museums. And um, really, that cigar was super popular. And then this brand was taken, was bought by J.C. Newman, another amazing, super famous company of the time, uh, and was bought in the 50s, in the last centuries. And then they start working together. Of course, the blend is different because before this cigar was produced with Cuban tobacco, now it's produced in the Dominican Republic by Tabacalera Fuente. So the blend is different, but the tradition, the legacy, the history is still there. So this is something that you breathe the history when you smoke this cigar. Well, but first of all, some technical data. This is Uh, 50 of sepo, 6 of length. This cigar is made with the Dominican filler, Dominican uh, binder, and Ecuador Sangron wrapper. Uh, it's called the Centrofino because the, this wrapper is taken by the Centrofino of the plant, so the central part of the plant, the one that is more rich of flavors, of aromas, of oils. And um, Mm, it's also a particular valley of Ecuador, of Ecuador where this wrapper is taken. It's called Quevedo. It's a very, very small valley where there is only a great tobacco that was grown there. And it is really something that makes this cigar unique. The richness of this, uh, of this uh, cigar is absolutely unique. When you look at it, you immediately see that it is very rich in oils. It's shiny. The wrapper is perfect without veins. It's like silk. It's a great, great wrapper. And even the smell, sweet. Mainly sweetness, sweetness. And some woody notes far woody notes but what I have in the really beginning is a sweetness so let's cut like the cigar and then we keep on talking about JC Newman Questa Rey and all the other stuff tasting notes of the cigar 
I suggest a straight cut because of the shape. It's for this kind of shape, I love the straight cut. Don't forget the cold draw. It's super important, especially with this cigar. Mm. Nutty notes, sweet nutty notes. Great. A lot of people cut the cigar and then start lighting, but in this way you lose the cold draw. I think it's very nice. Sometimes it's important, sometimes it's less interesting, but this time it's really great. So let's light it. It will take a little bit because it's very oily and um, you have to be really... It could take a little bit because it's very oily tobacco and um, yeah, don't, don't be too aggressive with the flame. Do something very slow, gentle. And don't worry if it takes a little bit more than usual. It's because the tobacco is very oily. And in my specific uh, case, I, I love keeping cigars a little bit more humid. So my humidor is always about 72, 73% of humidity. So it, it's normal for me that sometimes it takes a little bit more to light a cigar, but it's okay. Since the very beginning, the cigar starts with a lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. Creamy. A creamy smoke. Let's say mild in body and power. Balanced, of course. A lot of balance. Harmony. But mainly sweetness. Creamy notes, honey, some far fruity notes, dry fruits, nutty, creamy, great smoke. See you soon. We are more or less in the middle of the first third. And this cigar is really elegant, as I said before. This is the, an elegant cigar, it's incredibly elegant. And it has to be. This cigar is celebrating history, it's celebrating tradition. It's the link of J.C. Newman, the oldest American uh, family-owned cigar manufacturer that was founded in 1895 by Julio Cesar Newman, and Cuesta Rey, a brand that was super popular <laughs> in the last century. And that brand was founded in 1885. So this is tradition, this is le the legacy, this is the history of our business. This is part of the, of the history of the cigar business. Smoking the cigar, you are celebrating this history and you are enjoying this kind of elegance that is really not, not easy to find in other smokes, in other cigars. Well, now we are more or less in the middle of the smoke, in the middle of the cigar. And let's say the sweet notes are more floral notes. I have a lot of leather uh, notes in my mouth. I have um, some earthy notes, uh, even some white pepper if you retrohale. And it's interesting. Try to, try to do it. The, the retrohale of this cigar is quite interesting. And really, the cigar is more complex than before. Mild in body and power, balance, really great smoke till now, absolutely fantastic. See you soon. Now, unfortunately, we arrive at the last third of the cigar. Still a lot of elegance, still a lot of harmony. It's a balanced cigar, but now it's, you feel that it is also a complex and rich cigar because there is, there are new tastes that are coming. And I think mainly bread, a warm, sweet, toasted bread. It's incredible. Leather, of course, earthy notes, uh, nutty notes, woody, spicy through the nose, but it's a very gentle, very elegant, very sweet spiciness. Great cigar. 
So, I hope now you are curious and you want to smoke it. So, <laughs> enjoy it. Um, by the way, have a wonderful year. Uh, I hope this cigar will give you the same pleasure, the same enjoyment that it gave to me. So, see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye from Smoking Moses. Ciao.